Now then people, just a quick one before we get started. I won this Rogue 2.0 bag at the Installer Show on the Thomas Dudley stand. And I'm a bit unsure what to do with it. My initial thoughts are to do a plumbing grab bag, uh, just do a little like tap repair, TRV change, stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not too sure. I have put some tools in, started to load it out, but I'm not happy with it, I don't think. So I'm thinking that I might have to buy some more tools. So how have you loaded this out or a bag similar and what do you use it for? Do you use it for a grab bag or not? Um, let us know in the comments below. So in this video, we have got a couple of jobbing about plumbing jobs to do and then a little clip about a new feature on the iZettle app. So stay tuned, but before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe, subscribe, not press the notification bell. I've screwed this up. Forget it, let's go. Hope you enjoy. Right, so we've got another fill valve to swap here and a isolation valve to change because it's absolutely not good. And once again, we are going to be pulling in a Viva brush shank fill valve. So we need to isolate the water somehow. So we're going to turn the mains off because obviously we're changing the isolation valve. We flush the toilet and we use the double O, double O, whatever you want to call it, to pump it away. So basically it's a battery powered pump. Drop your pump into the system, put the other end into the pan and it will pump the water out of the system into the pan. Save you sucking up all that blue nasty water. Yeah, not for me sucking the water. So once you've got the majority of the water out, you can start removing the old fill valve. So we turn the water off and we're taking it out. You may get a little bit water come out on this one it's just a sludge at the bottom from these bloody blue things they're a nightmare to be honest turn everything blue and stain your hand for the rest of the day so drop the other one in we'll put the back nut and uh, back washer and nut on we won't tighten up fully straight away we'll get our connection made up first before tightening the top up especially when it's a fixed connection like this it can be a bit it can be easier to do it this way in my opinion also no silicon don't use silicon on systems it doesn't need it unless it is the crappy fixing bolts as you may know if you are a avid watcher of the channel so let's get the isolation valve out this one was a bit of a nightmare to be painted in so like these isolation valves it turns out this uh, was run off a header tank in a loft not actually on the main so there was a bit of water still left in there but no need to panic luckily we're putting a push fit isolation valve back on as requested by the customer we got a little bit wet there so tails back in we're just going to change the washer as always no point in trying to use the old one put the new one in got a little wash tub here these um fiber washers are a bit of a nightmare sometimes you have to swing on it sometimes tighten it up or even put a little bit of ptfe in which i don't like using ptfe is for cowboys in my opinion so it's tightened up hand tight first and then we'll just give it a little nip up with a uh, pair of grips or a spanner yeah, it's fine, I remember, to be honest. Before anyone starts boring at me for using a pair of grips on a nut. Tip for you, before turning the water on, just give it all a nice wipe down with a, ta with a bit of tissue, just so you know, once you turn the water on, it's any fresh leaks, if there is any leaks there. Or, if you didn't do that, it could be just stagnant water. On here, we did have a little bit of a leak, and for the life of me, could I get it to seal? So, we ended up ripping it out again and starting again some of you are going to moan at this but customers happy with it and it worked i use a bit of plastic pipe with a speed fit tap connector it looks smart the customer wanted the plastic um thumb turn isolation valve so it worked well with what we had there and in all fairness didn't have any other tap connectors in the back so more as much as you want it helps the algorithm so what are all back on Time to start testing out, so make sure it fills up, shuts off, and flushes, well, and make sure you're not causing any leaks or you've got any more leaks on the incoming main. So, yeah, one happy customer. If you do fit Viva, do make sure you collect your points from their pro installer reward scheme. If not, send them my way. Right, so just a little feature I want to show you on the iZL app. If you don't know about iZL, iZL is an app which connects to a card machine. You can get paid straight away by card from your customer. They take a little small percentage from each payment 
So usually I just have the card machine, which connects to the phone, and customer can play contactless or by chip and pin. But as I have updated the app, and there is a new feature on there that I think is amazing for any sole trader or any businessman, to be fair, that does want to accept card. So if we go to amount, and we add in, let's say, £80, £88, and we'll charge that to the customer. So usually we just click the card button, and that's over to the card machine. We can it does all your accounting does as um, as well so you can put cash if you've got a gift card you can send them a link so they can pay by a link you can send them an invoice but this new feature called tap and pay so click tap and pay it will turn your phone into a contactless card reader so the customer can tap their card or their phone or their watch on this um, bit here and that will take the payment straight away I think it's a great bit of kit to have on you and it's a it's a free app you can sign up for free. So you can get basically a contactless card machine, absolutely nothing. So if you haven't got IZL already, I highly recommend it. It's good. I've um, I've been using it for many, many years. So yeah, check it out, IZL. Right, so we've got a little job in about job here. So we've got a straight tap swap. Basically the tap on the left, the hot tap is faulty. So we need to swap them both. So first job, water off. Once we turn the stop tap off, up in taps, make sure the water drains out. A bit of a top tip for you as well. Put the plug in, because the last thing you want to do is drop anything down the plug hole. Trust me, I've done it before, it's a nightmare. So what we're gonna do is underneath, it's just on these standard tap connectors. So we'll use the NERAD Tapax kit to undo these. There's a great bit of kit if you've never used it before. I've, used it in, I've shown you in a few videos before, so do check it out if you haven't already. So you've got this handheld red device with these four connections on, which just fit onto different size tap connectors, or back nuts. And as always, we'll swap the washers as well, because if anything's going to leak, it's going to be them. The great thing about this tool is it fits into tight spaces, and because it's got a ho hollow barrel, you can get it all the way up the pipework when the pipework runs straight down. So yeah, like I say, it's, I could live without this doing tap swaps now, especially on kitchen sinks as well. It makes life just a lot easier. And as a must, always, always, always wipe down that little bit of grime under the taps. It just, customers like things like that, and while it's off, you might as well give it a nice clean down. Get rid of that gunk. Now that's all sparkling clean, make sure you put your tap in the right way around, so make sure you've got the hot to the left, cold to the right. Don't put silicone under there, like some cowboys tell you to do on Instagram and YouTube. The above will be fine. So back knot on there, tighten that up, and then tap the connector on with a new washer. So once both sides are done, time to get the water back on, get it tested out. Try not to uh, burn your customer's bathroom, or down to the toilet, and your phone while you're at it. <laughs> Hopefully you're not filming. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the little job about job here, replacing these taps. At least the customer's got a downstairs working hot tap now. One happy customer.